Greetings, folks. As you know, you can't control motors directly with Arduino because of the high current which Arduino can't provide. So we use motor drivers like L298 and motor driver. In today's tutorial, we will take a detailed look at this motor driver. So the L298N model driver is an H-bridge based model that allows you to control the direction and speed of two DC motors independently. So it can handle a voltage range between 5 volts to 35 volts and a current up to 2 amps per channel. So these three pins are the powering pins, the middle one is GND, the right one 12 volts and the left one 5 volts positive. So you can power this motor driver either with 12 volts or 5 volts. But a quick note, if you power with 12 volts then you can use uh, this 5 volts uh, pin as output because here is a voltage regulator and uh, decreases the input voltage to 5 volts and you can use it as output. So there are four other pins, uh, the output pins, out 1 and out 2, uh, which connects to motor A, and out 3, out 4, which connects to motor B. So we can control two motors independently. And there are four input pins here, in 1, in 2, in 3, in 4, which connects to Arduino pins. With these input pins, we control the output pins. And also, with E and A, E and B pins, you can control the speed of the motor by using the PWM pins on Arduino. So, it's a cheap, practical, and super useful uh, motor driver and you can use it the most of your projects. Now let's wire up this DC motor. Uh, first connect the motor wires to out 1 and out 2. Alright, then connect the input pins to Arduino. Right, so I connect the input one to ninth pin and the second one to tenth pin. All right, so we are done with uh, input and output pins. Now we just have to power uh, these two models. So I have a nine volts battery here and I'll power uh, the motor driver. But unfortunately I have just one. So I'll connect the nine volts battery to uh, the 12 volts pin on the module. And as I said at the beginning of the video, when you use this pin as input, so for powering, you can use a 5 volts pin as output. So I'll power my Arduino from this pin. I connect it to the VIN pin. And finally, I'll connect the ground pin. this to Arduino, to the ground and yeah now let's code all right so first i define my pins on Arduino 
the ninth pin has in one. Then the input to looks and pin and it's okay for now. Now I'll set them as output. And just copy paste here. All right, so in the void loop function, what's the logic here? When the input one is high and the input two is low, the motor will turn either right or left. Otherwise, when input one is low and input two is high, it will turn contrary. So let's try it. Write digital, write, I'm making some mistakes, man. Input one, high. And turn to low the input two. So like the ports are they no oh no. My send the code and as you see, the motor just started turning at a high speed. We have to make it turn slow, it's so fast. I'll turn it off. So it works properly, but the speed is crazy. So how to make it turn slower? We will use the ENA pin. So this one. So first I remove this socket. And I connect it to one of the PWM pins in Arduino. In this case, I will use the third pin. If you don't know how to use the PWM pins or you don't have a clue what are these pins, check this video on my channel. All right, so let's go. So again, I'll define the E and A pen. The third pin. Also in the setup function I set as an output. Then to control the speed of the motor, I'll write analog write. Now here, I first I specify the pin, so the ENA. And now I'll write a number a range of between 0 and 255. So if I write 0, the motor won't turn. And if I write 255, the motor will turn at the maximum speed which is not a thing that I want to do. So what I want to do, uh, making it to turn at the half of the maximum speed. So 255 divided by 2 is about 127. Okay. I'll add here also a delay to analyze better the motion of the motor. Two seconds. Turn off the motor.
Now I just copy paste this delay and we are done with the code. Send it. Yeah. So I just sent the code, guys. Now, power the Arduino. And yeah. If you can notice now, it's not turning that fast as before. Let's try making it slower so we can realize easily. Just change this value. Uh, I'll make it 20. So, so we will still. And yeah, now it's not turning. It's not even turning. <laughs> okay, so I'll write a bit higher. Send it again. Yeah. Now it's so slow. So by applying the same technique to the other pins, you can control another motor as well. So that's it guys about this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you and you understood how to use this component. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.